Now, uh, I've covered a lot of the fundamentals of coils in the previous two videos, so revert back to those because um, I won't recover all those things about mutual inductance of coils, um, only briefly. So, first coil for um, motorcycles is um, the ignition coils for motorcycles is the points coil system and um, on a single cylinder engine we have pretty much a single point system similar to our distributor before but no distributor distributing to each plug according to the timing um, one coil one spark plug one set of points and one condenser for uh, per se a, a single cylinder motorcycle now on a four stroke on a two stroke that's not complicated because the uh, on the two stroke you can have the um, distributor cam that opens and closes the points um, down on the actual crankshaft but there is a different type of crankshaft um, points um, ignition system for two strokes it doesn't involve um, this type of setup um, this is powered from the battery a powered system and the other system is um, an AC system and the points are used to close off one side of the AC pulse so you want to get a DC pulse and the DC pulse is driven through the coil to produce the spark and being connected to the crankshaft that fires every top dead center um, which uh, is in the case of a two stroke in a four stroke a little different because we have to fire the spark plug every um, fourth stroke or every second time the piston gets to the top dead center so in those cases we would have to have the cam that operates the points opening and closing on the camshaft of the motorcycle which might appear to be like this this is a, an older motorcycle this is actually a twin cylinder um, and the uh, same similar setup with the mechanical advance and the advance weights for the advance inside this as there is in the distributor so I refer back to the two previous videos on that and for how points work um, but this will be uh, one set of points for a left hand coil system and another set of points for a right hand coil system each being an individual system itself running to the left and right okay and because that's running off uh, camshaft speed which is half crankshaft speed at one half revolution the points will operate for one cylinder and then when the crankshaft runs 360 degrees in this case 180 degrees it'll open the next set of points for the opposing cylinder and that is a pretty standard system you find on much uh, older bikes now um, different system okay you'll find on four cylinder bikes okay now on four cylinder bikes it is difficult because you've got double overhead cams and it's very difficult to actually house a um, house a system like this on the end of a double overhead cam to actually get cam timing so you have to have a set of points on the actual crankshaft now the problem with that is is that the points actually open and close 360 degrees of the crankshaft okay but we only need the points to open and close and fire every second revolution of the crankshaft so uh, we actually have to use a slightly different system and what we use is a dead spark or a wasted spark system and you will find these on um, some modern cars that have an electronic version of sensor and they have a wasted spark system that goes to the opposing bank cylinder so in the case of a four cylinder we have um, a firing order of um, one three four and two so our cylinders that are opposed to each other are one and uh, four so when one is on compression for firing number four is on overlap that's when the exhaust is just closing and the inlet's just opening and then um, two and three um, will be likewise um, linked together one on um, firing and the other on uh, on overlap so what we have is a slightly different coil system and what I'm showing you here is 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 two sets of points and one set of points is for cylinder number one and four and the other set of points is for cylinder number two and three and there is only two coils okay but each coil has two leads coming out of it like that so there's one coil with two spark plug leads now one of the coils has a lead going to cylinder number one and the other lead goes to cylinder number four and then the other coil driven off by these points and this condenser 
um, you know how all those work if you've gone through the previous two videos but this coil is wired a little bit different to your other coil which is your car coil here positive goes into one side negative goes down here through your points to negative okay and the coil secondary is positive on this side and the negative side of the of the secondary goes down to ground as well okay but in the wasted spark coil with motorcycles we have a different arrangement and it looks like this now we've got two spark plugs so we will have one coil for cylinder one and four so that we spark plug number one spark plug number four and then we'll have a second system the same as this uh, driven by the second set of points over here okay which will be it's here and these cylinders will be cylinder two and cylinder three now the other thing you will notice is that the negative side of the secondary doesn't go down to ground it actually goes across to the other plug okay you see that so this set of wires is not physically connected to this set of wires in any way all right this secondary winding is not grounded at all okay so when the um, when the points open and then we get the secondary spark what we actually get is we get a spark at both spark plugs at the same time so even though this cylinder is on number one and this one is on overlap number four is on overlap and number one is on compression both spark plugs will still spark at the same time when the crankshaft goes around at three every time it gets to 360 degrees it will open the one set of points for cylinder number one okay so one and four will actually fire together but the difference is is that because one of the plugs actually has the earth of the secondary side through one of the plugs and the other side has the positive side that these plugs have a polarity so that means that one will be negative and one will be positive okay and the circuit is completed by this negative this this pretend there's no gap here this would be the negative so when the coil um, charges up and the points open and the field collapses into the secondary windings and we have mutual inductance um, then we get a spark here if we shorted this one out um, or if we shorted this one out we would get a spark here but the difference is is that the spark on the negative one jumps from the negative pole to the positive pole in the center whereas the spark on the other one jumps from the positive pole in the center to the negative pole on the outside every time it sparks there's no real difference there a spark is a spark uh, but likewise in before even though this is not tied to here we do have a mutual inductance and that mutual inductance is going is flowing back into the primary so again we will still see those oscillations of the condenser on the primary and the secondary signal um, from the mutual inductance and the um, and from the primary inductance both being tuned to the condenser okay so that's how a dead spark system works and because each plug is grounding the other one okay um, and behaves as the ground for, for one to the other okay and the, the secondary is not tied to ground anywhere um, the uh, um, the difference between the plugs or any resistance or any resistance spark gap resistance um, becomes fairly critical okay so if one plug's not working right the other plug's not going to be working right and you have to be fairly careful with these spark plug caps because these long caps in here they have resistors in there okay and you've got to measure the resistance in these caps and test them because they do go out and they cook and the resistor gets loose and whatever goes out of range and what will happen is if one of the resistors in these um, in these these resistor caps is out of whack with the other one um, that will uh, seriously compromise your uh, your ignition and you might get a misfire starting monitor and start so uh, if you've got an ignition problem with something like this and um, you've uh, replaced the points or whatever um, or it's got no points it's just got a dead coil spark and it's got electronic uh, ignition on trigger on each side for the same dead spark system that doesn't have to be points it can be electronic uh, ignition as well but the same thing applies with the dead spark coil if the resistance is not exactly the same on each side you'll have problems 
So if you do have misfires and carry on, um, then um, take these caps off and test them. And uh, if you can't find anything, it might be a dielectric problem, an insulation problem. Um, so just replace all the four resistor caps on here and uh, put a new set of plugs, after you put a new set of plugs in it, obviously in the first place to stop the misfire, but it hasn't stopped it. So yeah, put yourself uh, a new set of these resistor caps on and uh, that's usually the problem um, before um, a dead coil because the coils are pretty hardy. Um, they're not an oil filled coil on motorcycles. Um, so that's the most common systems you'll see on the multi-cylinder engines is a uh, twin lead dead spark coil, wasted spark coil, which will be a lead, a coil, uh, with two spark plug leads coming out of the one coil. And it will have a points or trigger system on the actual crankshaft of a four stroke. Whereas um, your other system is uh, a cam driven system. So that will be on, uh, on single overhead cams, not double overhead cams and older single overhead cams. So uh, as I explained earlier on this one, it's got the set of points. So you would set the set of points and the other set of points. Um, now with setting these, these two sets of points, you'll note if you look very carefully that each set of points has got an adjustment screw here to adjust the gap on each set of points. And then once you adjust the gap and get the dwell the same on both of those sets of points, then you undo the big screw here and you turn the entire base plate with it connected with the with the timing light connected to one lead and then you you flash the, the mark down the crank and uh, rotate this plate to get your timing right then you clamp this plate up and then you take your timing light lead and you put it on the other spark plug and then you undo this little screw and put your screwdriver in here and then you fine tune this one separately to actually adjust the uh, timing for the second cylinder Likewise, when you've got a uh, four cylinder and you've got um, two twin leads like this going from one to four, one and four, two and three, um, same again, set your dwells on both sets of points the same, and then undo the base plate here on those screws, um, set the timing mark, okay, which is down here in the little window with your flashing light, um, so that the, the timing mark is right for this one, lock this one up. And then undo these screws here, and you can move this base plate gradually with your timing marks to get the uh, timing so that both timings are exactly the same on the one and four and the two and, and the one and four and two and three. Uh, so you've got to move your timing light from number one cylinder or number four to do one set of points timing with these three screws for the whole base plate, and then you've got to move your uh, timing light lead over to number two or three to uh, set the uh, timing by these screws. Whereas this screw and this screw are the points gap for each. So uh, in diagnosing those and understanding the condenser and um, inductance and whatnot and how to set those and twin point distributors go back to the previous two videos. Um, but that'll do now for the basics of um, motorcycle ignition um, coils with points or triggers. And uh, the next thing I will get onto in the next video is I'll just cover the the other types of motorcycle ignitions you'll see on um, two strokes and a few ones with magneto types and we'll just cover those quickly in the next video but uh, that'll do for today. Okay,